Hi guys and welcome to Fork and Allotment. Today I'm going to be talking about how to grow microgreens. Um, so please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please do share this video if you would like to. Um, I would be very grateful if you did do so. So in this video we're going to be talking about microgreens and how to grow them. Um, with microgreens you can have a uh, harvest in as little as a week. So microgreens or micro leaves are simply the seedlings of leafy herbs and plants that we would usually allow to grow to full size um, before harvesting. But in this instance, we'll be harvesting them while they are still young seedlings. All microgreens are grown in the same way. Um, they are just sown into compost and placed in the light so that they can be grown in any container um, from a seed tray to a yogurt pot because they're so small. Um, then you put them on a windowsill or something. Um, and the good thing about them is that they can be grown all year round. And then you will have a harvest in at least around one to two weeks, depending on what you're sowing. So to ensure a constant supply of microgreens, so successionally every week, um, so that the new leaves will be ready to harvest just as the last batch is running out. Um, most are ready in just a few days after germination and have all the flavour of the fully grown plant. What will you need to grow your microgreens? So, you will need leafy veg or herb seeds such as radish, broccoli or basil. You will need multi-purpose compost, um, a seed tray or other container and a watering can. So you will fill your seed tray with compost and firm it down lightly with your hand. Use your finger to make a shallow drill in the compost and sow your seeds densely but evenly spaced, if that makes sense. Um, thick clumps may cause damping off disease um, and crop failure. Then you water using a can fitted with a fine rose um, so you can avoid washing the seeds away. Place them on the windowsill and keep them lightly watered. Leaves should be ready to harvest in as little as one week, again depending on what you're actually growing. As I say, although they may take a little bit longer in winter. Um, pick when they are still tiny by either snipping them off at the base or pulling them up leaves and all, uh, roots and all. The health benefits. Microgreens are usually eaten fresh and raw. Um, the fresher they, the leaves are, the more vitamins and minerals they contain. Each leaf is a gold mine of vitamins, antioxidants and minerals such as iron, folic acid and potassium. So really, really good for you. Um, but I'll get into another video. I'm going to be doing another video um, which will go along with this one, which will be 10 seeds, uh, the 10 best microgreens to grow. Um, that video will be going along with this one and will be uploaded just afterwards and I will leave a link up here somewhere for that video. Um, other than that, guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, I will be doing another video in a little while, so um, please look out for all of my videos. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. So please do stay warm, do stay safe, stay safe, and do stay healthy. Thank you, and I will see you all in the next video.